Today on Home and Family, Hallmark Channel's at home in Mitford actress Sarah Edmondson and the Texas Tanners. <laughs> Welcome to Home and Family. It is Monday. Glad you can join us. Our first guest has starred in several Hallmark films, but most recently this past weekend, you maybe caught her in a little movie called <laughs> At Home in Mitford. Please welcome Sarah Edmondson. Hey, welcome. Sarah. Welcome. Hey, welcome. So, to have you so here. you play Marge. I do play Marge. Marge. It's a fun, it's a fun name to say. Yeah. Marge. Marge is pregnant in this. <laughs> yes. And it's not the first time I understand you are, you're playing pregnant. You weren't really pregnant. I was pregnant once. I do have a child. You do, but yeah. not but in never the movie. in the TV. You were always pregnant. It was always fake pregnancies. Yeah, these, Otherwise, these. that's severe method acting right there, okay? <laughs> very serious, very serious about my craft. So Hallmark seems to like me pregnant, and I don't mind it. It's okay. So what, what is it like acting, and you're wearing a prosthetic, obviously. Mm -hmm. Is it weird well, to... In, in Love at stuff? First Bark, which I did in January, it was a real, it was a very heavy belly, so it was quite challenging on my back, but it helped with the character, and I walked a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, there, there it is in Love at First Bark. Okay. Uh, it's a little belly, uh, playing Cassie Guggenheim, and then I played um, another character recently with with a lighter. There she is. That's Marge, with a slightly Marge. bigger but lighter, thank goodness, belly, and uh, ready to pop at, at nine months. There. So did you have to oh. fake the weight then? I yes. know. So, yes. yeah. so you didn't have yeah. to carry no, it. No, I just, sort of, just oh, oh yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. I'm goodness. very familiar with those sounds. That's why I went to theater, <laughs> theater school to be able to. So, yeah. to <laughs> not, uh, oh, all you have to do right. is go to Lamaze class. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk all about Marge and the movie, and right. we're so excited for that. We're so happy to have you here. You. You're not pregnant, are you? Uh, okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. All right, Sarah. So, At Home in Midford yes. just aired on Sunday. Mm. Rave reviews. We all love it. Good. I'm so glad. Your character, Marge, yes. is, um, well, I'd say she, maybe she's the friendly local meddler. She's right. In a good way. In, In a, a good way. Is there such thing? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about Marge. She's a matchmaker. She's the kind of oh. woman who likes to know who's dating who, putting people together, organizing sure. the Friday potluck. Which is essentially me, but in a small town, so it was perfect. Well, How does that go for her? Does it work? Yeah, she's good at it. Okay. Well, they find love. They but do. weren't they already finding love? <laughs> Thanks to me. Yeah. Oh, right. Of course, of course. It was all because of you. Yeah. Well, let's take a look back. Let's look at it. This is a scene where Marge knows, actually, that there's magic between the two, and that's right. Andy and, and uh, Cameron's characters in the film. Um, and she, she's wise, this character, Marge. Very let's wise. take a look. <laughs> she's great with Dooley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's great with everyone. Grab hold of the horn. There you go. Put in there. You got it. Sure are gonna miss her around here. Yeah. Now, I'm not gonna let you fall. But if you do fall, I'll catch you. Because that's what family does. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> How's that feel, Billy? He's gonna catch you when you fall. Oh, honey. Yeah. He's already fallen. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's going on. Yep. So I, I understand we talked about the fake baby. Yes. But you left the set with a real friend. Aww. A new bestie yes. under Andy, right? Andy and, and both Andy and Cameron and I yeah. all, all became yeah. really close and we had such a good camaraderie on set and had so much fun. Yeah, yeah, she, Andy was just here on Friday. Yeah, she's, she's so, so lovely. lovely. Yeah. She, um, how do I say it? She wanted to leave something for you. She did? Yeah. Oh. Take a look. Take a look. Sarah, thank you so much for coming over to watch at home at Mifford with me. We had the most fun, and I hope you have fun on the show today. And you played the best, best friend anyone could ever ask for. Aww. So she's so wonderful. Yeah. It's so wonderful. I thought you were, she was going to leave me some green juice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I, we was, I used to bring green juice on set, and we'd all take care of each other. And she, she had a little cold at one point. We're all, we're, we just had a real um, a nurturing friendship. It was really lovely, oh. and that was really sweet. Which brings me to my next question, yes. since you brought up the green <laughs> juice. You were a bit of a health nut. Bit of a health nut. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're, <laughs> little, so to, to so say the least. a health least. nutler or a health nut? I just want to make sure. But is there a, well, a little bit, because she was meddling with Cameron's <laughs> health as well. Okay. So Cameron Matheson, who is a very good friend of yeah. the show, Hallmark star as well, we love him so much. We've known him for years, and we know that Cameron is very, very serious about his workout regimen, about yes. what he eats. Honestly, I've never met anyone who eats more fish oil <laughs> in my life. Like, he drinks it constantly. <laughs> However... You two had a little bit of a healthy competition. Yes, every Did day. Did you beat him? I think I beat him. Every day on set, we'd, we'd bring something, say, do you have this? Do you have this oil? Do you have these bars? Do you have this? 
He did taught me once with bone broth powder, which I don't have. Okay. And that was that was a, a new one for me. But I, I'm gonna get so on that. So he out health to you that day. Is that I, how it works? I, I think it's still it's a competition it's, in progress. Okay. Let me ask you this because this was in you shot in Canada. Mm -hmm. Did he? I, we've gone on shoots before together, and he travels with a suitcase full of vitamins. Yeah, do you do no, that? no clothes, just supplements. What I tell you, mm -hmm. that's a true story. That's a true story. True? Yeah, because he doesn't need anything for set, just supplements, like maybe a you know change a t-shirt and some underwear, maybe. But. Maybe yeah. <laughs> do well. you guys eat any solid food? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the point is, really. <laughs> You're going to today, because we eat a lot around here. I'm excited well, about that. you need your energy to come up with, I love finding these talents that our guests have. You know, you do so many different voices, mm -hmm. which I know keeps you going. A lot of people go, oh, you just speak. You just, there's so much energy that goes into something like that. Tell us a little bit about your voiceover career, okay. what, you, what you do. And then how, how can you do some for us? But Sure. So uh, do you enjoy doing that? I love doing voiceover, especially as a mom. It's really easy just to show up in your sweatpants and yeah. kind of roll in and not have to worry about all the... Like Cameron does. Yeah, just... Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. And some bone broth. <laughs> right, that's all you need, bone right. broth and green juice. Right. It, I'm really grateful to have my voiceover career. It's been super fun, and I love all the characters I get to play, especially now that my son's starting to watch the cartoons that I'm in, and I can say, that's mommy. So what characters have you played? Um, probably the most notable ones that people would know here in the U.S. are um, Rainbow Dash's mom, Wendy Whistles. I love Rainbow yes. Dash. You love Rainbow Dash? I love Ra <laughs> of course you love Rainbow I mean, I, Alexandra has Rainbow Dash. Oh, so you know. <laughs> no, I love Rainbow you, Dash. And you're familiar. Are you ashamed right now? Are no, you? I'm not at all. Every little girl knows Rainbow Dash. You love Rainbow So Rainbow Dash. Dash's mom is, is me. I'm Wendy Whistles. And that was a big deal in, you got Goosebumps? <laughs> I have got He's meeting celebrities. Is Alexandra right now. still here? She's gonna be very This is what I'm saying. I definitely Whistle got more fame with the with the six year old girls for sure because of that. Yeah. Can you do Wendy Whistles' voice? Sure. Oh, there's okay. Wendy Whistles here. Okay, there's Wendy Dash's mom. There's okay. okay. So Wendy Whistles would be. I just want to say. My name is Wendy Whistles, and it is a total treat to meet some pony that loves the Hallmark Channel as much as we do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Before you go, will you leave that on my answer machine? I'm going to have Alexander hear it. I'm going to say, Mommy met Wendy Whistles today. Oh. <gasps> and, and the Santa thing? Oh my gosh. This is Shows the best day me. ever Major for mom her. Points. <laughs> uh, Major mom And points. also, you do some Transformers stuff, mm -hmm. right? Transformers. I play Lori in Transformers. She's more of a tom girl, tomboy. Yeah. Uh, so her voice would be more like, all right, Buster, if that's how you want to play it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so Do funny. It. Give me another one. Um, uh, get out of my way. <laughs> it's so funny to see your face because when you're in the, in the voice booth, yeah. the, for you to be Wendy Whistler, you got to go up like that. Yeah. And then to do yeah, the other one, you gotta go. Yeah, you change your whole face. Yeah, it's, a lot of it's a, it's a whole physiology. It's not just the voice. Ever do family sure. members? Like yeah, I got my grandma. Oh, yeah, grandma. everybody loves to do a grandma. Oh, I what's, love a grandma. What's, your, what's special about her? Uh, well, uh, she's British, and she oh, she would say no something problem. like, "Oh, darling, I love your dress. It's just so beautiful color on you, ducky." <laughs> ducky. <laughs> ducky. Okay. Oh, ducky. I love that. Is it a pet name? Yeah. Wonderful. Let Does she you. like to shop for shoes? By chance? She, yeah, I said she, she did, yeah. Would she mind going shopping for shoes with Debbie's mom? Maybe you should ask her and see. Would you like to go shopping for shoes, darling? Oh, honey, more. I don't have time to go shop for the shoes. I have to go to the tourts. <laughs> but I, oh no, I'm sorry to your accent. I will take oh you shopping God. with you. Okay, I go, where are we going to shop? Greece or England? Oh, I thought we are going to old country with your puppy. We go to old country. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Sarah, sideways. can you please look here and read in your grandmother's accent this there? Go to the hallmarkchannel.com for all of your family-friendly films. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Wonderful. We're coming right I don't back. Know. Ali Fedotowski Mano is this? <laughs> <laughs>